chasing Hollis Farms this morning. Me and old Pete's loaded up in the 16 Dodge. Got the grasshopper back there behind us on the trailer. We are headed over to Mississippi. Cut a little grass and check on the loggers. Stop and got us a little sausage biscuit. And we're doing all this checking and grass cutting on the empty stomach. All right, y'all, I didn't bore y'all with my grass cutting. Got all the grass cut. Gonna hop on the Ranger and we're going to check on the loggers. See how they do. jump over here and get in a tree here, tree there, tree there. They're gonna end up cutting this on about a 60 basil. Let's we'll see if I can get down here and see this cutter. I heard him a while ago, but I ain't got to him yet. I like the way they doing it. They ain't disturbing anything. We're gonna have to come in here. We're getting quite a bit of gum and hardwood competition. We're glad to come in here and probably do some spraying. I don't think fire will get hot enough to get what we want to get. Probably end up having to do a little spraying here. This little corridor right here is pretty clean. I'm going to ride down through here and we'll look at some how they've cut. See how they jumped right over in there and cut that one. Got over there and got one. Just staying pretty clean. These corridors will always be here until we clear cut it and uh, replant it. Just not hardly disturbing anything. I like it. Once we're leaving the best trees. Pretty good briars right there. There goes a skitter across there. But right down there where they loading. I'm gonna get back here and find this cutter here in a minute. That's a good tree right there. Y'all can kind of see the difference in the spacing in the trees right there, and then you come over here and see how much tighter it is. Kind of hard to tell until you look up in the top. I see the cutter over there. I'm going to see if he'll come out here where I can see him in a minute. They kind of moved over here on this side of the road. I may can see him a little better if I move on up here in just a second. Let me move on up. We're cutting them and bringing them out and then laying them down on that corridor where that skitter can come just skid them out. Skitter. He's on another one right now pulling. We're going to 
gonna get up here in a minute while we can see him. so long I was finally got a hold to the cutter guy or watched him cut you know and then he went up there and parked and he's actually the owner man you're talking about a super guy he was telling me about a Jack Russell that he used to have I guess we talked about 30 minutes about dogs but he had to jump in the truck what he does he gets a bunch cut and laid down and then he'll jump in the truck and that truck I videoed he's gonna haul a load while they skidding and separating everything then they'll come back and Oh, get on the cutter, but you talk about a number one guy. It is sure nice to work with somebody that really, really cares. I mean, he was just, first question, when I told him who I was, I hadn't met him. Oh, uh, we've got a guy that handles all our logging that hired him and everything, but anyway, I wanted to meet him because they talked about how good a guy he was. And the first question he asked when he walked up, I told him who I was. He introduced him. His introduced himself was, "How do you like it? Is everything looking okay?" And that just means a lot for a guy to ask you that. I mean, it just means the world that somebody's in there working on your property and cares what it looks like number one and then the next thing he actually cares what we think and that means a lot because we've got a lot of work to do down here and some of the stuff we're doing is just a little bit different than kind of what they're used to 
but man, they just bending over backwards to do it like we like it. I like that. That just makes the whole process worth doing. And if every job was like that, people cared on both sides, the whole world would be a better place. Would be a, everybody would just be so much easier to get along with. Y'all Y'all heard me say time and time again how I don't like people. I like people when they like that. They want to work with you and take care of you and just, and it goes to show the fellow's a dog man too. He likes dogs. Most folks that like dogs are pretty good people. Anyway, me and Beach headed back to the barn. All right, y'all, not just a ton going on this evening. About time to feed the dogs and everything. If y'all like our stuff, subscribe to us, Hollis Farms. Hats, t-shirts, and stickers, hollisfarms.com. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.